Welcome back to Kruznik Sanctuary, Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker, and the newest patch, patch 6.2, Buried Memory. Kruznik X along with Arya Stormborn. Somewhere. Last... Last episode, we arrived in Zero's domain, um, and she is pretty much giving us her protection against all the void sent here. So that's a nice little benefit of being her ally at the moment. But there is still so much to figure out. So let's get right down to it with the next quest, Nowhere to Run. Consider your choice, consider yourselves duly warned. If you wish to go among the void sent here, that is your choice to make. All have fled from one master or another, but whether any of those masters in turn serve Gobez, I do not know. You must ask them yourselves. Most have traveled to your world, so it shouldn't be difficult to communicate. We shall go about making inquiries at once. Thank you for your counsel. Once we've learned all we can, let us reconvene at yonder plaza. You're going to, of course. In which case, I shall accompany you. I wish only to observe. Do not expect me to help. Then it's settled. I'm ready when you are. I just want to see him here for a moment. Okay, there's a bed, a fireplace, and some other things. Not much. Ready? Then lead the way. I leave it to you to decide with whom to speak. Zero is now accompanying you. Yes, yes, we already know the... How many more escort quests are we going to do before you, you get the gist? All right, let's start in here. I call this my abode, but spend hardly any time here. I return only for meditation. While physical wounds can be healed by replenishing one's ether, you can't preserve your form if you lose sight of yourself. Such is the risk inherent in consuming another's soul. It dilutes your sense of self, alters you inside and out. To guard against this, I meditate. Visualize who I am in a place all my own. Ah, that's interesting. Alright, let's hit the uh, plaza first. This is, this is the heart of my domain. Normally it's deserted, but you and yours have drawn everyone out. I don't recall this statue, though. However it came to be here, I certainly didn't wish for it. Interesting. Alright, let's check out this... No, let's go to the far left and... To walk around with her like that. You're her minion, then. You know I don't take minions. He has some questions, and I want you to answer them. Gobez? I don't know that one. Only Skathath. When she led us beyond the veil, I grew scared and fled. I've been here since. I don't know anyone else, nor do I wish to. That's all I can tell you. Skathash was a powerful void sent who ruled over a vast domain. That was a long time ago, though, so I doubt she has any connection to Gobez. Yes, I remember her from our Void Arc adventures. Stay away from me. If you don't want to be eaten, stay away. Gobez, Gobez, I've heard the name before. Ah, I remember. 
Always speaking of a great crusade. I don't know what that is, but it sounds delicious. <laughs> a crusade, you say? From whom did you hear this? Farfarello. He was a minion of another minion. Went on and on about the terrible things he saw. I see. Perhaps Farfarello can tell us more. You're one of the mortals. Is it true? When you die over there, you really die. So it is. So it is. What brings you here then? Ah, yes, Gobez. He seeks strong minions to grow his army, so I hear. But recently, he stopped doing that. Instead, he devours all. Perhaps he's gathered enough fodder and is now intent on bolstering his own strength. A sure sign he is about to make a move. Satisfied with what you've learned? But let's step away before you become too tempting to resist. Alright. It seems the rumors of Gobez reach even my remote, remote domain. Fair to assume he is gathering strength for his crusade, whatever that may be. But I must say, I wouldn't have guessed that Fafarello once fought in Gobez's army. It's a miracle he survived serving an archfiend. Ah, I suppose I should explain. Fafarello is the weakest among us. Constantly in fear of being devoured, he seldom consorts with others. The only one he's comfortable with is Siriato. He's a fellow coward who runs the instant he senses a threat and won't stop until he's exhausted. When their hunger grows too intense, they feed on each other's ether. Such is their relationship. But I ramble. You intend to seek out Fafarello, I assume? Then I'll come with you. He's less likely to hide that way. Meanwhile, elsewhere. Not only did the mortals conquer Troy, they defeated Scarmelioni. I struggle to believe it. Yet they are small, my lords. They were aided by one of our world, who transformed Scarmelioni's soul into crystal. Crystal? This one speaks of Memoria. <laughs> now there's something I've not heard for an age. Did it bring a pang of nostalgia to my breast and a tear to my arm? <laughs> and the very notion was an absurd! Drowned in darkness. That's what we owe you. And yet Scarmelione still does not answer. Were he alive, he would have returned by now. Weakest though he was, his ability to regenerate was without peer. <laughs> if this account is true, if a memoriat has survived... Then y'all are fucked. They cannot be suffered to live. Leave this matter to me, Lord Gorgas. I, Barbaricia, shall strike down any who pose a threat to our plans. Oh, we get to face the Archfiend win true. next. You are a proven commander. 
And when I have succeeded, I would beg a boon of you. What do you desire? The dragon's ether. All that remains. Uh-huh. The insolence. No place. With respect, my locks are free as the wind. Without incentive to sway me, I know not whither they will blow. Boldly spoken, I trust you will not disappoint me. Upon this flowing hair and my immortal soul, I will not fail. Then go and impress upon these interlopers the futility of defiance. My lord. All right, let's talk with Zero again. Fafarello keeps to the fringes of my domain. This way. Oh, there is a sign here. The void sent here don't answer to a master. They can do as they please, but all must answer to the hunger and seek out prey when they need either. Except Farfarello and, Siriat and Siriato, that is. They are content to take, form, take from one another. Barring an incident, they dare not venture out. When he takes flight, Siriato will not seek shelter until he is utterly spent. Farfarello, on the other hand, prefers to hide in the same place. Come. Can I just say that Arya Stormborn is getting better at reading her map? It's not that hard to follow an orange arrow. Fair enough. Oh, whatever shall I do now? <laughs> Siriato, this is rather unexpected. Where is Farfarello? Farfarello isn't here anymore. He's left. Yes, that's right. Left. That doesn't sound like him at all. Well, he's gone, all right? What more do you want me to say? And off he flees, as he is wont to do. But something about this doesn't sit well with me. What do you make of Siriato's behavior? He seemed frightened. Perhaps someone had threatened him? I doubt it. Had he been threatened, we wouldn't have found him in one pl place. No, he would run in circles until he could run no more. That's his nature. As he says, Farfarello is gone, but that is quite unusual. As is the fact that Siriato, who was clearly frightened by something, chose not to flee, but instead hid here, where Farfarello usually... No. We must go after Siriato, now! We almost got you cornered. Seriato, we need to talk. There's no time. The wind rises. We must flee. The wind rises. What is he talking about? After him. We 
go in here or do we go up? We go up. What's gotten into you? What do you mean the wind rises? When the wind rises, she comes! Baba Riccia! Baba Riccia? Who in the world is that? We must flee! All of us! There's no time! I don't sense anything, but he seems convinced. It's a dead end beyond. We'll corner him. We're doomed. There's nowhere to run. What are you running from? I already told you, Barbariccia, the Archfiend of Wind. Archfiend, you say? We will be devoured or forced to serve, to fight in the crusade. But it makes no difference. In the end, all are eaten by her or her enemies. I didn't want to fight anymore. That's why I fled and came here. I see. That explains everything. Almost. I thought it was Farfarello who used to serve an archfiend. Not you. Not you. Not you who always ran at the first sign of trouble. You who now speak as though you were Barbariccia's minion. There is only one explanation. He devoured Farfarello, didn't he? Indeed, that would account for his uncharacteristic behavior. So, is that the way of it? Did you devour Fafarello? And not just a portion of his ether, but his entire being. <gasps> How did you know? It wasn't only your behavior that felt strange. You felt strange. As if there was, mo was more than you present. Now, I don't believe you would have lost control. More likely, it was at Barfarello's behest. I can't hide anything from you. I admit it. Barfarello didn't leave. I ate him. He feared Barbariccia more than anything. Hated the endless fighting. So he begged me to devour him, that he would never have to fight again. Rather, an eternity, rather than an eternity of fighting, he chose a moment of pain. For all the good it did, I can still hear his voice in my head. He's frightened, so very frightened. When you're eaten, your essence is blended with that of your devourer. And though you have no control, your consciousness in part endures. Were this a world where the wheel of life and death still turned, the soul wouldn't linger so stubbornly. In time, it would return to the great flow. But there is no such end here. No escape. I'll know this. In making his choice, Farfarello must have been desperate indeed. 
And now that desperation has joined with Siriato's fear, driving him to act erratically. This place will become a battlefield. We don't want to be eaten. Neither me or Farfarello. But there's nowhere to go. Nowhere! Then tell me about Barbariccia. I would know who it is we face. It's too late. She's as good as here, and no one can escape her winds. No one! almost had the voice right. Now if only I could re recreate the echo. And she's brought her domain with her. The Archfiend's after you and yours, I shouldn't doubt. Perhaps you should go and find them. But be warned, whatever this is about, do not expect us to get involved. You and me both. Everyone's flipping their shit. One of the arch fiends approaches. They must have been tracking our movements. She's here. Here we go. Oh dear god, she's hot! Huh? Of course she is. You would expect okay, to now the up. smile kind of turned me off. Yeah, bullshit. Excellent. You've saved me the trouble of traveling to Troia. So you're Barbariccia. Mind your manners, mortal. My name is not to be spoken, save in reverence and fear. At least they covered her up a bit. What is this pitiful to me? She's paler on your screen than mine. Pitiful wretches all. I will put you out of your misery. Or Scarmiglione, and good riddance. Felled by outsiders in pursuit of what? Pray tell. A dragon, one who crossed to this world thousands of years ago. Know you aught of it? <laughs> A dragon, you say? Lord Golbez is more clever than I realized. To let the prize live that it might lure more prey to us. Uh huh. Very well. In gratitude and service, I shall devour every last mote of their souls. Where is she? Where is Ashdaya? Huh. You even share its scent. How curious. And irresistible. Ugh. If you think us easy prey, you're wrong. Unlike Scarmiglione, I need not skulk in shadow to claim what is mine. If you would know about the dragon you seek, 
Then enter into my domain. I will you may flee instead if you wish. If the fate of the sorry lot here is of no concern to you. One way or another, I will have satisfaction. I will say this, the calmness of her tone is kind of unnerving. What's the plan then? We kick ass and take names and ask questions later. Go after Barbariccio, what else? Indeed. Yet she will have the upper hand in her domain. We must be no less than fully prepared. We find her and get our answers. Will you be joining us, Zero? You may be easily goaded into accepting her challenge, but my curiosity is not so insatiable as to cloud my judgment. Nevertheless, if you are desperate for my aid, you know my price. I shall pay it. So long as you leave me strength enough to see my sister home, you may take as much as you wish. And lest you forget, Mine is no ordinary ether. Barbariccia too recognized its potency. Very well. We have a bargain. The less time we give the enemy to prepare, the better. If everyone is ready, then let us set forth. Indeed. And yet, my heart weighs heavy for those Barbariccia struck down. Were it not for us, she would not have come here. Should you require a moment, Zero? For what? Barbariccia took what she could. She was wise to strike quickly as we would be. Agreed. There is no time for sentiment. Only the battle matters now. I will take the... I'll take the skill speed. Alright. In the next episode, we will take... We will be doing the quest as... Uh, the wind rises. We're going to take a quick break. If you're watching on Twitch, stay tuned. But if you haven't done it yet, hit the follow button, turn on notifications, throw some bits our way if you're feeling generous, or subscribe for access to exclusive videos and live streams. If you're watching on YouTube and you like this video, click the like button below and leave a comment. Subscribe by clicking here. Click the bell icon for notifications. Click here to watch more. And click here to watch the next episode. See you soon.